So back to work on the prelude again. Today's project has been taking out the axles. So took the wheels off. Wheels off, got the axle, the, the axle nut out. Bang the, uh, the shaft out. Everything um, on here has been so easy to work on because nothing is rusted or fused on. It's, been, it's like working so, on a new car. It's something that I've never experienced. We've both never experienced this before, so we've been able to get this done in record time. Like we've been working under an hour on this car, and we're I'd ready. Say five minutes. We're ready to take the shafts out. I've been working on the interior. Just so happened a guy wants to buy our seats, so I took the seats out, and that worked out so I could get the center console out. And now uh, I just uh, barely took out the shift box, so I'm going to need that for in the Civic as well. So, making lots of progress already today. So trying to get this nasty hood prop off of here. I've been messing with it for about a minute now. She's bent to crap. I have bent the crap out of it. There we go. Uh, Tim thinks he's got it under control here. Nope. What are your findings? She's stuck. Here we go. Yep. I, oh. Just like that. Yeah. It's got a hook at the end. Finesse. Got her. I and tried the brute force method and brute force didn't work. So. Mint. So we're to the point now where we've started removing some of the parts from the engine bay. Uh, took out the uh, factory air box, uh, battery tray, that kind of thing. We're going to start removing the radiator next. And on the inside of the car we're going to try and locate the ECU and pull that out of there before we start uh, filling the interior with all the random parts that we don't need. We peeled back the carpet and found this giant metal plate here holding in the ECU. So it looks to be about six or seven 10 mil nuts holding that on, so that's the next step. We're gonna take the ECU out. All right, so progress we've made now. We've got the rad out, power steering's disconnected, um, AC is disconnected, engine harness is disconnected, now it's just kind of the random lines and vacuum hoses and stuff like that we're getting disconnected and we're going to be getting pretty close to being able to hook up the engine hoist to this thing. That'll probably be a job for next time though, it's getting pretty late already so we'll just do a couple more finishing things and we'll be done for the day. We managed to get the ECU out and we put it in the Civic already. It, uh, it fit in there quite nicely, so we have the OBD2 to OBD1 jumper in there and uh, just plug and play with that, so everything uh, is fitting together nicely so far.